Welcome to this video on the swapping problem. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video I'm going to be looking at something that occurs in almost every programming language. A problem that you get when you want to swap what's in two variables. So for example you want to swap what's in X with what's in Y. So you want X to have Y's value and Y to have X's value. That sounds as if it ought to be quite simple. So let's have a look at what we do here. If you want to swap x and y then you might think you'd want to say x equals y, y equals x. But that wouldn't work. Let's assume that x is 3 and that y is 5. Then we would have x is equal to 5 because that's what's in y. And then we'd have y is equal to 5 because that's what's now in x. Bother. So how do we do this? What you need is some space. The solution is to have a temporary storage area of the same data type as the items you want to swap. If you want to swap strings, set up a temporary variable as a string. If you want to swap integers, set up a temporary variable as an integer, and so on. Let's have a look at this happening. Let's create a temporary variable which I'm going to call t. So if x is 3 and y is 5, then what we do is we say t is equal to x. We've now got the value of x stored somewhere. Now we can say x is equal to y. And then y is equal to t. Because what's in t is what used to be in x. Now x and y have swapped their values. So this will work. So let's try it with an example. t is going to be 3 because x was 3. x then becomes 5 because y was 5. And finally y becomes 3. We've got a success.